hi welcome back to a new video in this video I am going to show you how you can find the peaks in your signal suppose that you have a signal and you want to do analysis of the peaks of your signal and also you want to find out the distance between the peaks and the periodicity of the peaks so this video is gonna help you to understand how you can find out the peaks of the signals and how you can get the periodicity of a signal by using peak analysis. So first of all that we are going to load a sample data which MATLAB provide. The sample data is a data of sunspots. So this sunspots is recorded from 19 uh, from 1749 to 2012 that means it has more than 200 years of the data sun sports data so here we have uh, sports underscore num dot mat so once we load this you will get here sun sports and the year so the sun sports we are going to read it into x variable for the simplicity we can see here a b spots right so let's plot the sun spots along with year so once we plot this x then you will see here this is a signal which is available from 1749 to 2012 and our task is to calculate the peaks of these signals such as these peaks and after that we will get we will get the distance the time distance between these peaks so all these peaks after that we will get the average periodicity of these signals so that we can say that what is the period of this signal there are many other ways such that such as you can apply autocorrelation functions to find out the periodicity of signal as in previous videos I have shown you how you can find out the periodicity of signal using autocorrelation, FFT, periodogram, power spectrum analysis there are many ways to find out but here we are going to get a periodicity using peak analysis of a signal so first of all let's get the peaks of the signal so we are going to get the data into peaks and uh, location variable that is logs then we can say find peaks so input data is x here and one more thing you might have noticed here that uh, what we are going to do uh, first we are going to get the peaks okay so let's just just get the peaks then I'll show you right so <clears throat> we have here our signal we are going to plot the peaks and then I'll show you what I'm talking about so let's plot this we are going to plot against the year of location with the PKS which is peaks and then we are going to apply here into red of a circle let's bring that and of course I have to do here hold on I just forgot forgot that year and x now you can see here but one thing you might notice here that there are some peaks right those peaks has been calculated with very nearby as you can see here but as you know these peaks are not legitimate peaks right such as here and these peaks these peaks and these peaks suppose that if we take these signals in these signals there are only four peaks so these peaks this one and one of these two peaks and this peak right so we are going to apply there a minimum distance 
between two peaks. For that, what we can do? We can apply, you know, we can write there another parameters here while finding out this peak that is mean peak distance. So mean peak distance will ensure that it will not calculate two conjective peaks together. So once you get this one, now let's plot this signal. First we have year x and then we have year against the location and then we have a peaks into a red. Now you will see here the peaks which was you know which was calculated twice here has been gone means everywhere if you see here earlier it, it was a two peak here and the here but now you can see this peak has gone now what we can do now as you know the location of these peaks if we get the difference of this location variable then we can get the distance between these conjective peaks so we are going to get a difference of these conjective peaks which is equal to cycles so cycles is equal to diff of location if you plot if you print these cycles you will see cycle is 11 year 8 year 9 9 17 okay so this is now if you calculate here the mean of the cycles you will get around 11 right so it's 10.8696 and now you might know that sun spots occurrence of sun spots frequency is roughly is roughly 11 year so solar activity cycle occurs almost at the periodic uh, at, at the periodic time which is 11 years so we have got this by uh, you know doing the mean and in the meantime we can also perform FFT to get the you know the frequency content of the signal so you can watch our previous videos to know how we can do FFT to get the frequency content of a signal so in this video we have covered how we can get peaks of a signal and then how we can apply a minimum peak distance between the signals and then how we can get the frequency content or a periodicity of a signal by using by applying the differentiation of peaks location and then finding out the mean of those differentiation of a peak location so this is all about in this video thank you so much for watching this one please do not forget to subscribe this channel so that you can get updates directly into your inbox bye bye have a nice day